Salam Allah, Shalom, Hotep, peace, peace, peace on these streets. I'm your brother in the struggle, brother Minister Ali. And today we're going to decipher and decipher, since it's Black History Month, so called, Sir John Hawkins and his slave ship, Jesus Lebec. The messenger teaches us in the greatest story never told about Sir John Hawkins, and we might as well throw in his cousin, Sir Francis Drake. Sir John Hawkins and his cousin, Sir Francis Drake. Now, for you experts and historians and pseudo historians get crazy, let us say on official record, yes, I'm aware that the scholars of the world mock and reject Messenger Elijah Muhammad's teachings on Sir John Hawkins in the year 1555. Um, you go to the best colleges in the world, they teach that Sir John Hawkins didn't get the ship until England, Queen Elizabeth I gave it into like 1563, where Master Muhammad took the Messenger 1555. And uh, you know, Supreme Angels did that math decades ago the short version is, when you look up Sir John Hawkins' name, you'll realize Sir John Hawkins' father was named Sir John Hawkins. So a lot of people get confused because they look at history as a science. History is not a science. Now I mean, you know, just because you may find an old relic that says Jesus, that don't mean that's that Jesus. It could be a Jesus 180 years later. When Jesus was on earth, it probably was maybe like maybe 18 different Jesuses in that city and maybe 400 Jesuses in that country. Now I mean, so so people look at history in a real spooky way. Now I mean, um, I wrote, a, it's unpublished. Now I mean, Shaw lost the king. I'll, I'll eventually get around to publishing it. But I wrote a book years ago on um, the history of Sir John Hawkins. I show you that the photographs that the expert have is not even a real picture of him, the coat of arms. He was a maritime Navy man, but um, the pictures that you see is not his picture. That, those pictures were made like 100 years after his physical death. So it's a lot of pseudoscience out there with Sir John Hawkins and Sir Francis Drake. Now, I mean, but the main thing that I was looking for is actual facts. See, history and science are different. Now, I mean, scientists, they, they use the scientific method. They, they looking at physics, they looking at mathematics. Historians can't do that. Historians is looking at cultures, they're looking at events, they're looking at data, I mean, and how that data is interpreted and shared is what makes it history. So it can be 100% correct, 100% wrong, and usually somewhere in between. Now, I mean, if you, if you look at Donald Trump's presidency, you got half the people saying this man is a saint, the other people saying the same man, the same events is satanic, you know what I mean? So that's the reality of it, you know what I mean? They, they try to make Dr. Martin King as though he just was a pacifist that had a dream and Malcolm X was just a revolutionary with a rifle talking about by any means necessary. Neither history is correct, you know what I mean? You know, so that, that's how we're brainwashed or programmed in the wicked wilderness of North America. We we turn on the Cyclops, we turn on the one-eyed monster, and we learn from our television, our phones, and our laptops, and our tablets, and our PCs, or personal computers. Now, I mean, we think that if it's in Google, if it's on Wikipedia, not realizing a stupid person could put something stupid in a smartphone. And we're just like, oh, look, it's true, cause it's, it's on my phone, it's on the laptop. It's like, no, dummy, <laughs> I mean, Get back to basics, I mean, get back to mathematics, to the fundamentals, all right? But the main thing that really caught my attention was I got a, I got a, a, a copy of Sir John Hawkins' actual logbook. And what's intriguing is slavery was illegal. See, see the, the queen and the kings didn't want independence pirates kidnapping black people because if you kidnap 200 slaves you ain't paying no taxes on those slaves you just selling them making money so they would physically kill the slave catchers 
to free the slaves to protect that market, to protect that money. You know what I mean? You know, so Sir John Hawkins, he intentionally would lie. You know what I mean? If he, if he got 300 people, he's going to say he got 120, 180. You know what I mean? Because he's trying to make money. Everything's real. So, so, so it's nothing spooky in history. But the messenger teaches some deep stuff about this history of Sir John Hawkins. One of the things is that in 1555, we didn't have no flag of Islam, but we had an all red flag. Some people call it a Syrian flag. Syria is the lowest point um, geographically on earth. You know what I mean? Like Mount Everest on land is the highest, even though it's higher and lower points under the oceans. But the short version is Sir John Hawkins, when he came among the tribe Shabazz, he seen that we had an all red flag and that we were godly. We were a Muslim conscious people. Not a Muslim like following Prophet Muhammad, Sunni, no, but we were people about peace, truth, freedom, justice, and equality. You know what I mean? So, you know, when they kidnapped us and mentally robbed us of the knowledge of ourselves, it took them 64 years to break a prison of war and turn a prisoner into an enemy, you know what I mean? And that breeding, that taking our babies and moving to other plantations so that they won't learn from their grandparents and their parents and their guardians and their siblings, you know what I mean? It psychologically made us other than our own selves. And even though the physical chains are no longer around our wrists and ankles, sad to say many of our people have those chains around the circumference of their brains. We have to break the chains. We have to get knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of ourselves. The struggle continues, family. Remember, every day is Black History Day. Peace.